Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jeffroditis, and I'm back with another video, and this time I'm going to be unboxing the second Tinker Crate. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, when you're opening the box, you see the blueprints, and it says right here that it's a light-up planetarium. We'll go ahead and take this out. And then it looks like some kind of magazine we've got here. And we've got all these parts. Okay guys, so so the first for the first part you're going to you're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need the planetarium ring. You're going to need the the star sheets. You're going to need some of the stickers from this. And you're going to need the push pins that come right here. So I will be right back once I get these out of the package guys so I'm back and the thing the first step is what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna actually you're gonna get your tinker crate box get the push pin and poke a hole through through all the large white stars okay so once you're finished with that step poking the holes in all the big stars what you're gonna want to do is fold fold all of these blue tabs and fold them up like this so that the blue is facing towards the stars. Okay guys, so once you're done once you're done getting all the stickers on the ring, I wouldn't take the this wrapping off yet. Because what you want to do now is fold all of these little tabs. Fold them so that they're like so they're going in. And once you've done that, count count how many stickers it's gonna take. Count how many um stickers it's gonna take so that they don't become unsticky to stick this on so one for each blue tab and then peel that peel those off and stick this on and stick this you'll stick it on but you'll put it through the ring and stick it so it'll look like it'll be going under like this so once you've taken the stickers off you're just going to want to put this under under the ring and you're going to want to stick them all on just like this and when you stick the next one make sure that the flaps go these three small flaps go under so once it's done it's going to look something like this then that you're going to want to repeat all the steps i just did to, to create, to do the second part. So you're gonna poke the holes through the big stars, fold the tabs, fold these tabs, and then you're gonna stick it on here, finishing the dome part. What you're gonna wanna do is get this square sticker sheet. You're gonna wanna cut off a few squares, not, not too big. Cut off a few squares, not too big so that you can stick it right here in the dome to get this to remove this gap don't stick it on the top because you don't want to mess up any of your stars or constellations but stick it on the inside the end product should look something like this for the next part the things you're going to need are the dowel the the sticky the sticky circles sticky on the back some more of the double stick foam pads small ones the battery pack 
the batteries, the LED lights, and the stand piece. So the first thing, you just want to take out your stand piece. Be careful not to rip it since it's cardboard. And you won't be needing these two pieces yet. So once this piece is out, the first part is fairly simple. You just you just read it as it is. You put you put the sticky foam circles where the circle shape are. So you only need two of them. And you put two and you put four double double stick sticky sticky stickers and you put four on each of the shapes. Once you have all your stickers on it, you're going to, you're going to want to take the two the two papers off of these two and get your battery pack and put the batteries in. So put those in. Stick this back on. And you're going to want to put the battery pack so that it is so that it's sticking out sticking out like this and just stick it on stick it on so that it's stuck like this with the wires facing this way and then you just want to fold fold this over take these two off now and fold it around the battery pack so that you get some more stability there and that is part of the stand done next part you're going to want to get one of your LED lights and we're going to be using the dowel to finish up the stand so for this part you want to stick your LED through these two through these two little notches Stick it through like this, this, and pull it all the way. And then you want to attach the wires to it. So for the wires, though, it's pretty specific. You put, you want to put the red wire on the longest pin. So the red wire goes through the longest side of the pin. And then the black wire goes to the short side of the pin. Just like this, you can even give it a little test. It's supposed to turn on. And then, what we're gonna do, you're gonna get the dowel, do, make sure that you fold fold this piece over the one that's sticking up and you stick the dowel through the cardboard hole first and then through the two foam pieces and then out the other side okay so for the final part you're going to need everything that you haven't used and the two pieces you've already done so you're going to need your dome you're going to need the stand and the light you're going to need the base you're going to need five five arch pieces, one open arch piece, the small small double stick stickers, and the two large double stick stickers. You're going to need two foam circles. You're going to need 12, 12 bolts and six spacers. And you're going to need your pivots. For the first step, you're going to need your stickers, you're going to need your stickers, the arches, all of them, even the notched one, and you're going to need the bolts and spacers. So you're going to get, you're going to use your stickers and put each one on one of these squares that says sticker. 
work on it, obviously. I'm going to put one on each one. And then, once that's done, we're going to be sticking the arches to them all. So you'll, you'll grab one of the arches and you'll stick it on. Now it's important, you can... You have to make sure that the hole is completely open and none of the base is sticking through or this is not going to work. So you have to make sure you can, you, you'll be able to fit the, the screw all the way through the hole like that. So you're just going to do this to, to every side and the, you're, you're not going to use the notched part for this, this side. This is all full pieces. So once you're done with that, guys, so for the next step, you're going, to, you're going to want to get this and flip it over. And then you're going to put a screw through here, grab one of the spacers, and just screw it on. Now you're going to do this to all the other five sides. Once you have that done, you're just going to want to keep it flipped over and put the dome on here. Now, you're going to screw the notch piece on on this one. It has to be this one where the rectangle side is short. And so it can't be this one or this one where they're long on the side. So you just put the dome on, put the piece on, and then screw it in. You don't need any spacers for this part since you're using the ones that you just put in on the other side. And now, on the other two sides, you just use the last two arches and screw those in. So you can set your dome to the side and all you need to know are these two pieces and these two pieces. And what you do, you take the sticker off and you put the circle where the blue circle is and it says sticky, sticky foam on it. You do this for both of them. Then you want to put these on the dowel. You're, you're going to put them on with the foam, with the foam going on first. So it goes through the foam before it gets to the cardboard. And just put those with just a little bit of space left, but make sure it's equal. Make sure that it's equal, because we don't want any unbalanced ish unbalancing issues. Then you're going to want to fold these two tabs over. As you get your, these two big, big sticky foam, and you stick them on the big, big squares. Now you can peel off the paper and grab your dome and look and make sure that you stick them on these two big blue things, the two blue squares. And then you are now done with your planetarium. So this is your complete planetarium and as you can see You've got the base and everything. You might want to center it just a little bit. Center it a little bit on the bottom. And then all you have to do is turn on the power. And as you can see, it, you, it lit up. And the light is coming through all these little holes that I poked. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. And it may have been a long video. But I decided to not make it into a two-part video because I may not ever have a chance to get to the second part. So I wanted to go ahead and make it into one-part video. So, sorry if it was a little bit too long for you guys to watch. But I would like to thank you guys for staying through the whole video. And if you like the video, please, please leave a like and comment, maybe subscribe if you like.